Pi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create cool Photoshop effects for portraits. So let's get started. Okay. Start by convert your image layer to small object. Go to image menu, adjustments and from there, click on black and white. Go there again and select curves this time. Make darken your photo with curve settings. Go to filter menu and from there, click on camera raw filter. Increase contrast, texture, clarity and dehaze. Then in detail tab and sharpening section, increase the amount. Save your project now, because you will need it later. Make a copy from your layer and remove layer effects. To do this, drag the smart filters down onto the trash bin icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Add a layer mask, by click on the add layer mask icon, press Ctrl plus I to invert mask, make sure the foreground color is white. Grab the brush tool from tools panel and paint on the eye. Add a hue slash saturation adjustment layer and clip to below layer. Check colorize and change the color to blue. Click on the mask of the layer below and while foreground is black paint on dark areas of the eye. Create a new layer at above of the all layers and clip it to below. Go to blending options by double click on the layer and choose color overlay. Now paint on blue area of the eye. Double click on the layer and in color overlay section, change the color to light blue. Go to blending options, decrease the fill opacity to zero, in the bottom of underlying layer, drag the black slider to the right. To smooth out the blending and create more of a transition between the two layers, hold down the alt key and drag the black slider towards the right. Grab the custom shape tool from tools panel, choose your desired shape and draw it over the eye. Press Ctrl plus T key to rotate and place the shape on the right place. Now go to filter menu, distort and click on displace, click on convert to small object, make the settings the same way and press OK. Then open the same file you saved earlier. Click on Blending Options, decrease the Fill Opacity to zero. Click on Gradient Overlay. Change Blend Mode to Color Burn. Click on Gradient Editor, go to Blues, and choose the Blue 20 preset from there. Make the other settings the same way. Add a layer mask, make sure the foreground color is black, grab the brush tool and paint on the eye area. Create a new solid color, set the color to blue and set the layer to screen. Then, click on the mask of the layer and press Ctrl plus I to invert. Grab the brush tool, change foreground color to white, decrease the flow and opacity, and paint on the eye carefully and in several steps according to your taste. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly hit that bell to stay notified about future videos at all times. It's totally free and you'd support me big time. Anyway guys, then I hope I'll see you in my next video.